Um, here we here we are in Chester, not to um, take advantage of the sale of HMV closing down or go to the pub, but to visit um, what would normally be um, a very officious place, and it is today, the Cheshire West and Chester Council buildings. The processors have just left now, and I did an interview with Jed, who represents uh, Frack Free Asmund Port. You're a councillor, yeah. and um, you, what was what was it all about today, that meeting? It was a planning application for a test well, which is essentially the tip of the iceberg that paved the way for fracking in our area. Um, it's in Portside, Nelsmere Port, um, right, you know, 200 metres from the motorway, 600 metres from where people live. So, you know, they, they talk about fracking as if it's going to be in the middle of the countryside, in the middle of nowhere. This is right next to people's houses. And we haven't got the land about. space. And also the boat museum is, is in, a, it's all that sort of area. If you want to picture yeah. it, that is close to where the the, the houses stop and the industry starts in Elsmere Port, isn't it? Uh, yeah, right with what, the MFD3, you know. And what is the cumulative impact of all of that? I mean, it's building upon, building upon, building upon industry. We should be looking at how we, we divest from some of those old industries is a move to renewable industries instead of just you know, drilling through the ground for some more gas. So what did they want to do? Did they want to, did they want to do the full fracking? Or did, did they say first say, oh, we're just going to have a look what's down there? Was it that? This is part of the testing process to determine yeah. what they could find down there. But of course, every little one of these applications chips away. So by the time they move to the next application for full fracking, you know, it's, it's, it's relied upon as an argument. So it's, it's a real victory to stop it at this stage. I've no doubt they're going to try and appeal, but... I think we need to send a message as a Labour Council yeah. in particular that, that we oppose fracking and I'm really glad the committee um, almost unanimously um, said that. Because the Conservatives are the ones that back it. In fact, there aren't really any other parties that do. Are you, how worried are you about seeing what happened in Lancashire repeat here? Because obviously there, Lancashire did say no. Uh, there were appeals and now we've got a blockade trying to stop the actual thing going on on the site just outside of Blackpool. Could we, could we be seeing that for Elsinger Port, say, in 2019 or something? Sad, still? Sadly, we could. I mean, at the end of the day, when decisions get appealed, they go up to the Secretary of State, Secretary of State, Conservative Secretary of State. Conservatives have essentially said they'll support fracking at all costs, so there's every danger it'll go there. But we've got a duty as local politicians and as local people and as campaigners to resist that as much as we can. And that's part of what we've done tonight, and I'm really pleased that we managed it. All right, it was momentous. Uh, it was a victory for everybody that was worried about it, at least, even if even if that could happen. Thanks so much for speaking to us live here no at, the, at the council offices. Uh. <laughs>